çocuk doğmadan önce benim kontrolümde olacak. Ve onu son planımız için hazırlayacağız. One recent attempt being generation of artificial wombs. Yes, you heard it right. A company by the name of Ectolife can grow around 30,000 babies yearly because of extensive and groundbreaking scientific research of over 50 years. It is the brainchild of Hashim Algali, who is science communicator and biotechnologist from Berlin. His facilities would allow couples to conceive babies and be true biological parents. It is for infertile parents who cannot have their own offspring. These babies will not only be developed artificially, but also the parents will be able to design and modify their babies' characteristics. Subhanallah, characteristics being eye color, height of baby, intelligence level, and so on. As if the baby is just a toy or a product whose specifications can be fixed before selling it to the customers. The technology is available to start with this process, but ethical constraints do not make it a reality as of now, but we cannot say anything about the future. Subhanallah, man is the best creation of Allah and man is trying to make himself the creator of man, a step closer to refusing the existence of God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقُنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُطْفَةً فِي قَرَارٍ مَكِينٍ ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا النُّطْفَةَ عَلَقَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْعَلَقَةَ مُضْغَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُضْغَةَ عِظَامًا فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُضْغَةَ عِظَامًا فَكَسَوْنَا الْعِظَامَ لَحْمًا ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخَرَ فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has explained how he creates the human baby, in how many stages it is created by Allah alone. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, Each one of you is constituted in the womb of the mother for 40 days, and then he becomes a clot of thick blood for a similar period, and then a piece of flesh for a similar period. Then God sends an angel who is ordered to write four things. He is ordered to write down his deeds, his livelihood, the date of his death and whether he will be blessed or wretched. Then the soul is breathed into him. Will any of the technologies available be able to do so? We all know for a fact that man-made process will always and always have faults in it. Is it what the new world order wants? to create humans whose intelligence have already been controlled in such a way that they act according to how they are being programmed? Is it new trap from shaitan or the followers of Dajjal, the Antichrist? Only time will tell. What we can do from our end is to keep ourselves and our kids far from these traps as much as we can. We should try to educate our kids and our family members to be always watchful of the traps of shaitan or shaitan will always be our enemy and will try to harm us in every way possible. Because you have sent me astray, surely I will sit in wait against them, human beings, on your straight path. Then I will come to them before them and behind them from their right and from their left and you will not find most of them as thankful ones. They will not be dutiful to you. This was the promise of shaitan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will not take rest until the day of judgment. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from the traps of shaitan. Amen.